G'day everybody, hope you're well. Uh, apologies for the uh, no, that not being a live scan. Technology hates me. I don't like it much right now either. Um, this is brought to you by FTX, of course. Uh, if you haven't got your account, 10% off the trading fees below in the description. And long and short, how to manage your risk also there as well. And one of these days, I'll get this back to being live. You see the software updated and nothing works now. You Good work, software update. Anyway, what's going on? Hey, good things are happening. Really good things. And this is what I'm talking about, yeah? See, these last two days, boom, boom. This is what I wanted to see. Um, I need another one. Mwah, give me another one. This one, be the day, be the day. We get up through 11.2. Now, I want to see 11.2 go. Poof. I'd love to see some good buying through 11.2. Why 11.2? Well, it makes this a higher low, this a higher low, this a higher low. And then we've got a proper break of the actual convincing level for me. Why is it this level? Because look, support through here. Um, my my buys at 10,550, 10,150, and 10,050 are sitting pretty right now, and fingers crossed they keep going, and I rip it to shreds. Uh, looking here at the weekly, check it out. This is another reason why uh, I liketh it. Uh, bullish candle. Push up through here. This was a bit the candle that I've been waiting for. Now, it's taking a little bit of time to get going. It's not really got to itself going yet so much. But it's looking really good, guys. I mean, this market is, oh, it's looking fantastic. Things change very quickly, and it has changed quickly. And um, yeah, look, I'm, I'm pretty excited, to be fair. So let's now have a quick look at the purple list and see what we can find. I'm gonna go to the four, oh, pardon me. The four hour here, all right. I was watching this level last night. Oh, I'd love to see it pull back in a bit further, you know, get, get us back into 11th hour. I wanted that candle sort of down here. Didn't get it. So for me, Bitcoin right now, not so, conv yeah, even if it's the two hour here, I'd still have a lower high. If it was to pull back now, I'd have a lower high there. So no good for me. Uh, Ethereum up 4.6%. Little Ripper, Ethereum. Well done, friend. Got to break up through there, very close to doing so. Anything to trade right now, doesn't look as much, sorry, doesn't look as so. No, not yet. A pullback into that cradle is what I'm after. Oh, Cardano, mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. doing really well. Uh, pushing up through here, I want to see a break of 10, oh, uh, 10, 6, I think it is, 10, that 10.7, sorry. Break there, we've got a higher low and a higher high. We'll be coming out of that weekly cradle at that point. Uh, as of now though, Let's have a look here. Now I can only talk to you guys about the cradle because you don't know the booster, which is another strategy that I use, which is really good for these types of markets when they uh, trend well in the lower time frames. Let me just, yeah, look, I'm, um, I think I'm gonna pop that into my list. Uh, now, why? Because if I've got a cradle in here off of 10 cents, that'd be very worthy. But also, I'll look at boosters there as well. Oh, Algo, Jesus, this looks so good. Oh, love this trend, look at that. Um, just amazing cyclicity in there. Let's just chuck a couple of fibs in. Holy mackerel, my, holy mackerel. Not perfect, but I'm gonna pop that in because I'm waiting for a cradle on the two, pull back into here. Little bullish candle, follow your rules there, guys. And away we go. Uh, Alt perp, up here, just a quick check on the 15 for a potential flat level. A bit funny looking on that chart, gonna leave that. Atom, up and Atom, uh, I'll leave that. Actually, let me have one more look at that, hang on. The two hour. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's a, that's a no, not for me. Uh, Bitcoin Cash. Now it does look as though, since we have broken up through this high, we've got a higher low, higher high. We might actually be finding some support off of this level and we might be headed back towards where we were at the upper end of that range at 275. So for me, uh, it looks it looks good, but there's nothing there with the cyclicity I'm after just yet, so I'm gonna leave it. Binance, right, right, right. Binance, Binance, Binance. Okay, two hour. It's not really how I want to see it just yet. I'm going to leave it BSV. Oh, this could look good in the two. Mildly. Uh, a bit big on that candle. It's, it's mildly good. It's, it's not good enough for me. Bitmax, I can leave. 
Now, what I would like to see is I like I like to see these mids, of course. Now, this was a trade that the the only trade of the week until recently. A breakdown profit was taken. Uh, it's just resetting now. See, it's got great cyclicity, high, low, pulling back, high, high, pulling back. For right now, though, I, I, I'll probably come back and check it later on when I do a scan in the afternoon. Nothing on EOS, Exchange, Purple, oh, sorry, Ethereum Classic or Exchange. Focus being on good, strong trends here. Don't forget that. Uh, oh, a little bit... Uh, not pulled back much. Yeah, I can leave link there as well. I want to see Litecoin clear this resistance through here. It's not major, but there is a little bit there. The cyclicity is quite good on the two, but I want to see it come through a little bit more. Many of these charts are, are looking good, but a few are still, still need a little bit more work. Leaving Matic, leaving mid for the time being. <clears throat> okay, be the same. Shit, purple, I can leave. Tomo, what's happening on Tomo? Little breakout level down there in the evening. Sorry, last night. Pull back. Look, that's that's sort of what I'm after. These little pullbacks in, nice move. Um, that being said, that's not what we can do now because that's all over. Four hour had a nice little cradle there too, didn't it? Oh, sorry, two hour, not four hour. Uh, but the four hour didn't have it in the right order. It's no, That's a no from me on Tomo. Tron. Geez, that could have looked all right. A bit more of a pullback is what was needed. Don't know if I'd take that. <clears throat> not not ideal, but maybe you want for later on. XRP, look, as much as it's been looking really strong because of the higher low and the higher high and the, the moves through here, it's really not kicked through with the rest of the market. The rest of the market's moved quite well. And XRP's not. It's not really done too much. Oh, hang on. Tezos. Probably wouldn't here. There's not much... No, still a bit caught up down there. And with the prospect of us sitting right on that old support acting as resistance right now, it's not what I'm interested in. Ooh, proof per, what have we got here? Oh, definite resistance right where we are right now. Yes, it is. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Great trend though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that into my yellow list. Uh, a pullback in for sure could be worthy. Uh, also a break above and a pullback into that level. Though they're two options that could present themselves throughout the day. Nothing on Theta or DeFi or Comp for now. Got to stretch its legs a little bit more. Kyber. Although not looking very good on the daily. There is some cyclicity there on that four and the two. It's just a little bit big for me to work with right now. Gold moving up again, V chain. I can't justify that. I don't think. Well, there's a cyclicity there. Hang on. We've gotten up through that region. There, there is some good. You know, the structure is quite nice actually. But would I take that? Um, probably not at the moment. Uh, a little bit of a deeper pullback might be worthy. I'll check it again later. Ample no. Dot. Uh, two hour. No, I look as much as there is a trend there. I'm waiting for the better, stronger, nicer trends. I can leave those now. Rune. This is what I've been keeping an eye on. Bigly. Oh. Look, it's. I was watching this closely here. So look, it's pulled back, but it's, it's in that zone. It's it's just a little like, I don't, it's, if it was just cleaner, that pullback, it would be much nicer. Do I hate it enough to not take it? Oh, gotta wait for that candle to close. I'll wait and see how that closes. And, but I'll, I will put it in the list, keeping an eye on that. Could, could potentially come good. Uh, make a Dow. No, it's already moved very, very well. DMG, no, Zcash can leave that. Uni, let's have a look at this on the two. Hopefully it's not too big. No, again, it needs to needs to get that better cyclicity for me to, to really dance that jig. And we're back at the top. Let's have a look at our list then. Cardano. 
Excellent. This is going to be on the two, I believe it was. Or maybe even lower. Yeah, look, fantastic trend there. That's right. Pulling back in to that 10 cent. Look, anything, any opportunity that sort of presents itself at the moment on, on Cardano isn't a good opportunity. I'm, I'm pretty keen on. It's looking really good across the board now. Uh, it's got a bit, bit of momentum and I will continue to, um, to look at that. Algo. A pullback on the... Um, oh, for some reason, my chair's dropping on me. I'll vanish off the screen in a minute. Algoland. Pullback. Uh, two hour. Sure. Looks good. One hour. Mm, probably the two and the four, really. They're the two time frames. Yeah, it's a really nice trend that I'm going to keep an eye on Algo on the two. Prove perp. Look, it's, as I say, if it pulls back into here and I've got room, if I get a cradle, I've got room for one to one before this resistance. Sure. Uh, otherwise, if it breaks above, I'll look for pullbacks into that 777 level. Rune, that two hour could be potentially, you know, I, I might end up taking that. I'm not sure. I've got to wait for the candles to close, which is not too far away. But all in all, the markets are coming a bit better. They're looking good. 11.2 is still the level for me uh, on Bitcoin. I'd love to see us get through that, obviously. Uh, we get through that level and things start to really improve for us. Uh, we'll, we've got a fair bit of momentum with us now. We get up through there, we push above, we could see something really special. Now, I'm not suggesting that that's going to happen, but there is potential for it and uh, things are starting to come together. After a bit of patience, we're looking good. Have a great weekend, guys. Call your mates, check they're okay. And if you're not feeling so good, make sure that you reach out to someone as well. Cheers, guys. Bye for now. The Trader Cobb Crypto Show, talking business in blockchain.